warmly welcome from the Enercon Europe 2015 in Berlin. I'm happy to have uh, Mr. Anthony Nikolopoulos from Titan Greece here and we will have some minutes to talk about his current work and his first impression of the Enercon, for example. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm delighted to be here. It's my first time. I think it's a very good conference. Um, Titan Cement is a multi-regional cement producer. We operate in 10 countries around the world and uh, obviously our big concern is energy because it's a very high input uh, to our product. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to learn from other industries and hopefully present what we do in our own industry. Okay, um, what are you doing right now in your industry and what are the energy efficiency um, challenges? Well, as a cement manufacturer, uh, a very, very high percentage of our cost is thermal energy, mm -hmm. uh, meaning we have to use uh, fossil and conventional fuels into the kiln to generate the high temperatures needed mm -hmm. to make clinker, which is the basis for the cement product. Uh, as such, and uh, taking into account the high cost of fossil fuels, uh, we are trying very intensely to substitute as much of that as possible with alternative fuels. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a safe, environmentally sound and uh, very well uh, perceived uh, practice in the cement industry for decades now. Uh, unfortunately, it's not so well known in the developing world where a lot of our uh, industry is, con is, is concentrated. So introducing these sorts of fuels, which can be anything from biomass, to uh, municipal solid waste uh, derived fuels, to sludges, uh, anything that has basically an organic potential uh, is a process that has to be done uh, very closely to the local stakeholders. Uh, it is in fact a win-win solution because the cement industry can provide a solution for certain waste that cannot find uh, other means of safe disposal. I think we've passed the stage when we want to bury our waste. Mm. This is the um, uh, the technology of uh, older generations and we can take value out of that. Obviously first we have to recycle uh, whatever can be uh, reused uh, but then of course there's a lot of uh, energy potential that can be recovered from such waste and the cement industry is ideally placed to do that. Okay, um, how do you think has the cement industry developed in the last, um, in the recent years? I think the cement industry is trying very hard to, to, to meet the challenges of the new outlook. Uh, it's trying very much to be sustainable. I believe that a lot of the current uh, agenda about the circular economy, about sustainability has been driven from the cement industry. Mm -hmm. We are of course one of the largest uh, emitters of CO2 gases uh, because of the process. Uh, and this is why we are in the forefront of making all changes that would uh, mitigate this impact. Um, having had this high energy cost, we're trying very hard to mitigate that as well with, uh, as I said, technologies. Uh, we're also being very much dispersed around the world. We're trying to help the local communities take the product. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a series of sustainable actions we'd like to do. There's also water, there's biodiversity, and I think the cement industry is rising to the challenges of today. Regarding the three-pillar model for, the, for sustainability, do you feel like um, Titan cement, cement is doing um, something for every pillar? Uh, we strongly believe so. We are one of the uh, founding members of the Cement Sustainability Initiative mm -hmm. of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. We're investing in the long term. When you're in cement, you're there for decades. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody's looking for a quick buck. So we know we're affecting people's lives, we know we're affecting the environment, and this is where we want to focus so that we can have our business running well, running for the community, running for our shareholders, both today and in the long term. So we're doing all actions possible in the, in the field of raw materials, in the fields of alternative energy, in the fields of um, uh, relationships with local stakeholders. So yes, I strongly believe that we're uh, aiming for both triple bottom lines. Okay. Um, what are your expectations um, for the conference? Uh, I'm actually looking forward to hear what other industries are doing in the field of energy. This is what, uh, what, what uh, drove me to the conference because I think we all have a lot to learn. We, mm -hmm. We've learned a lot within our industry, but I think there's a lot to learn from the chemical industry, from the um, uh, motor industry, from the uh, steel industry, mm -hmm. and I think that the Enercon represents a, a big spectrum, a wide spectrum of, uh, of activities. Yeah, it does. Yeah, good luck for this. I think you can really achieve this year. 
and thanks for having you here. Thank you very much. Thank you.